Project Baltimore is brought to you by the Snyder Law Group. I lift you up and I magnify your name. A vigil for a young Glen Burnie man who police say was murdered by his neighbor last Monday. Court documents reveal the victim, 22-year-old Tyreek Hudson, had been denied a protective order against the suspect, 53-year-old James Verenbeck. I'm never going to forget him. Nobody else is going to forget him. But like I said, what's happened here, it needs to stop. Well, the judge involved in that decision is facing growing calls for her removal. An online petition started by the victim's friends and family calls for an investigation into Judge Devi Patterson Russell. Overnight, the number of people signing that petition increased to more than 9,200. The judge argued Hudson did not meet the required burden of proof. Russell is a Baltimore City judge on temporary assignment in Anne Arundel County after accusations of misconduct. The U.S. is on track to break the record number of measles cases since the disease was declared eliminated. Here in Maryland, four people have been diagnosed. That number could very easily go up because the virus is highly contagious. Nationally, today the CDC announced 71 new cases across the country. The total number now at 626. That's just a few dozen less than the 667 reported in 2014. The outbreak has spread to two new states. There are now cases in 22 states and Washington, D.C. A Baltimore County mom gets results one day after sharing her story with Project Baltimore. Lead investigative reporter Chris Pabst is here with how the school finally took action. For nearly two months, Inshallah Brown says she's been pleading with her son's school to address the bullying and violence that she says is getting worse. One week ago, Project Baltimore told you her story. The next day, she got some good news. For the first time in a while, Inshallah Brown has a smile on her face. Yes, yes. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Finally, she says her school, Featherbed Lane Elementary in Baltimore County, is doing something to protect her six-year-old son. Feeling Thank better? You. Yes, I am feeling better. I am playing with quiet. Last week, Project Baltimore shared the story of Brown's two sons, who she says have been bullied all year. She tells us she's repeatedly contacted the school for help. In February, she received a call. Her son was hurt. I was scared. Um, I was worried. Another student flipped over a table, hitting her son Jaleel in the head. The medical report says the first grader likely had a concussion. I felt helpless. I wanted to take the pain away from him. Something has to be done to protect these children. Immediately after the incident, Brown contacted the school asking for help. But she says nothing was done until she contacted Project Baltimore. I just appreciate the fact that um, there is some progress being made. On April 10th, this concerned mom sent this email to school officials saying it had been nearly two months since her son was attacked and still no help. The day after Fox 45 told her story, she got that help when she received this safety plan for Jaleel. It's five pages detailing how the school will address her concerns on the bus, in the classroom, at lunch, during field trips, and between bells. I've read the safety plan. Um, so far, so good. You know, it looks okay to me. I still have a lot of work to do, okay, uh, because I'm expecting, you know, more as far as accountability. Brown is not alone in expecting more accountability at Featherbed Lane. She's just one of several parents Project Baltimore has heard from concerning bullying and violence not being addressed. And Baltimore County Schools officials aren't talking. Not only did the administration decline an interview, when we met with Brown outside her son's school, the police were called on us. The officer told us the school's principal wanted us removed from the property. But sidewalks are public. We left when we were finished. I just want to say thanks to Project Baltimore for you know, seeing uh, my children and I through all of this. So it's a very good first step. <laughs> 
So while Brown is relieved to have that safety plan, she said that she asked to have her son move to another classroom after he was injured. That still has not happened. And we want to hear from you. Are you having issues with violence and bullying in your kid's school? Call our hotline, send me an email, go to foxbaltimore.com to follow our progress. I'm Chris Pabst, and this is Project 9-11.